This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. The city is adding more beds to its shelter system under a new initiative just announced today. It is an effort to replace the 600 plus beds the city will lose at the end of this year. NBC 7's Nicole Gomez was at Veterans Village for this announcement. Well, this new plan definitely puts a dent in the shelter bed storage. However, there will still be a deficit by the end of the year. According to the San Diego Housing Commission, the new initiative will add 363 beds to the shelter system, including 165 beds at Veterans Village. That means 130 for adult men and seniors, 35 specifically for veterans, 37 beds at the San Diego Rescue Mission, 56 beds at the Alcohol Use Disorder Shelter, and 105 beds at a motel site. The Housing Commission also noted they'll be implementing a homelessness diversion initiative. It aims to make up 150 beds available that are currently occupied in the shelter system by connecting shelter clients with alternative housing resources, freeing up bed space to serve someone else experiencing homelessness. At many of the shelters, including Veterans Village, support services are also offered, like case management assistance that will follow them once they leave the program. This is not your average shelter. These are not your average shelter beds. As you can see, this is a beautiful facility. It is a community. We recognize that for a brief moment in the lives of you know, individuals who are facing challenges, this will be home. This will be their home. And so we intend to create an environment that feels like home. Well, the Housing Commission says they had several listening sessions with the unhoused population to come up with this new plan, trying to get new options for this diverse group. We're going to continue to follow this story both on air and online at NBC7.com. Reporting near the Midway District, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. Next time you are driving along the 15 freeway in Fallbrook, you might notice this billboard. It is filled with the faces of people who have died from a fentanyl overdose, both here in San Diego County and all over the country. The people behind it say this isn't just about raising awareness about the dangers of the drug, but making sure no other family has to go through what they did. Beneath the billboard yesterday, families share their stories of grief and loss. That includes 20-year-old Samuel Walker, who lost his mother to a fentanyl overdose just two years ago. Found herself with the wrong group of people, um, kind of house hopping, and she unknowingly took fentanyl and overdosed. I just don't want other people to have to go through this. This is the second billboard of its kind here in San Diego County. The first one went up in Lakeside over the summer. Another is scheduled to go up along Palm Avenue in Imperial Beach in December. San Diego County now has two reported cases of dengue fever. The latest person is from Vista, so vector control teams will be out in the North County over the next few days. Crews are still treating about 60 homes. Health officials say the patient was hospitalized and didn't report any travel to a region where dengue is common. They don't believe it's related to the prior case that was reported weeks ago in Escondido. The pesticide is said to be low risk to the public, but people are urged to take precautions. Overall risk of infection in the county remains low. You can protect yourself by wearing long sleeves and pants and using mosquito repellent. Meteorologist Brooke Martell joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hi, Brooke. Hey there, Monica. Happy Monday. We did have some scattered rain throughout the morning commute, and we're looking at some of that rainfall potential to continue as we look ahead to tonight and into the overnight hours. Meantime, temperatures right around the mid 60s today out along the coastline, upper 60s to about the low 70s over your inland valley. So we're really cooling down across the county. Same thing goes for the mountains, upper 50s to the low 60s. Wind advisory there that will also cover the desert region. Low 80s there in the forecast for today. I'll have that 10 day coming up. Thank you. You may see more patrols around Balboa Park, what they found that has police ramping up security. And with just over a week until the November election, you can cast your ballot a little early in San Diego County. We'll show you where and how coming up. Stay with us. Did you know NBC7 is helping you stay up to date on your local news? Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Catherine Garcia. And I'm Mark Muller. And catch up on your favorites. Hey, there we go. All on Peacock. Watch award-winning movies. This is your moment. 
and the trendiest shows. Did you miss me? Welcome to the Kelly Clarkson Show. Whether you're on the go or on wanting at home. Pretty afternoon. We're going to be cooler than yesterday. Sign up now to stream on Peacock. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. You might notice more police in and around Balboa Park right now after a suspicious package was found in front of the House of Israel. They have increased patrols in the area after investigators say a white envelope with wires sticking out was found on Saturday. Law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, were called to investigate. Police say they x-rayed the package and found no explosive material. As a precaution, officers did sweep the area and evacuated some of the cottages. Uh, this was done potentially with the intent of impacting a community of people. Uh, we won't stand for that. And if we, uh, during our investigation, determine there was any criminal activity, those who uh, committed the act, if we were able to identify them, will be held accountable. Police say they have also increased patrols at nearby mosques and synagogues. About a quarter of San Diego County's nearly 2 million registered voters already submitted their mail-in ballots. For those who have not, there's now more options to vote in person. 39 vote centers are now open across the county at locations from Bonzel down to San Isidro. The registrar of voters say these new sites can make it easier and safer for San Diegans to cast their ballot. It's so convenient. Um, we're open for two full weekends prior to Election Day. You could avoid any delays, any any lines by voting early. So um, elections are no longer a one day event. At least 50 locations, including the County Registrar of Voters Office, will become super vote centers next Saturday. You can cast your ballot at any vote center across the county before polls close at 8 p.m. on election night. Meanwhile, there is a lot to follow for the November 5th election. You can keep tabs on all of it on our website. If you pull out your phone, you can scan the QR code here on your screen. Click on the yellow button that pops up. It will take you to our decision page with all of the information. Halloween is this coming Thursday and local law enforcement is urging you to monitor which candy your kids are eating. They warn some treats sold at local gas stations and other shops may contain dangerous levels of drugs. Authorities say that more kids and teens are accidentally eating THC or cannabis and ending up in the hospital. Forensic experts tested more than 100 products which were supposed to contain little to no THC. They found many were mislabeled or the products had other chemicals to mimic the effects of THC. The vast majority are unregulated. The consumer again has no clue what different chemicals they may be ingesting or what the potency may be inside of these products. We know that cannabis um, and intoxicating THC actually changes the architecture of the teenage brain um, and not for the better. The Sheriff's Department says it is working on community outreach to make more people aware of just how harmful these products can be. NBC7 meteorologist Brooke Martell will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20. Weather coverage you count on. You count on accuracy. The winds are going to be increasing. You count on these experts. Take a look here at our future weather. In two languages. You count on innovative tech. You look at our first alert Doppler radar. From a team you depend on. Dry conditions to round out this week. You count on early warnings. The tornado warning for parts of East County. Because you know every second counts. It just kept getting worse and worse. This is first alert weather. This is coverage you count on. Only on NBC7 and Telemundo 20. Taking a look at your 10 day forecast, you can see we have more rain chances heading into tonight and Tuesday morning. Meantime, looking ahead to the rest of your week, temperatures will bump up by a degree or two near the coast. You'll feel it a little bit more over the Inland Valley communities, but then we do cool down for the upcoming weekend. Don't forget that daylight saving time does end this weekend, so you'll want to turn those clocks back probably by Saturday night. And you can see here for the mountain communities will cool down again for this weekend. Same thing there for the desert region. Oh, turning back our clocks. It's that time of year already and a happy Halloween to everyone too. We have more coverage to count on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.